Good day, guys. Today, I'm still wearing my Christmas hat just for the fact that I'm still too lazy to change my skin. Anyways, today, we're going to do a uh, house tutorial for you guys. So, um, let's get into that video right away. Okay, guys. So, uh, you want to start off your kit with the oak wood, uh, the logs, of course, the stone bricks, stone brick stairs, spruce wood stairs, spruce wood planks, spruce wood, oak wood planks, cobblestone and cobblestone walls so before you start asking I'm indeed exhausted because I just run a big bit so um other than that let's um move on so what you want to do is you want to take up your oak wooden logs and uh, what, what, what we want to do is we want to go for the basic pattern so um, basically this is just a normal and standard house that I usually built but then using different materials so that you guys know how to you know, implement different materials into my buildings. So, um, what we want to do is we're going to start off with a four, uh, a pillar of four high, then um, three blocks open, another pillar of four high, three blocks open, and another pillar of four high. Then what you want to do is you want to connect those up by the upper brim like this. Then you want to go three blocks back right here again, and then connect it up again, of course. Um, so. With that being done, we're going to go to the side here, right here, and then we're going to do again three, and then again a pillar of four. Then we're going to do the same thing, so that's going to be one, two, three, and then a pillar, so there's going to be three in between again, three in between again, then another pillar, then here, then we're going to go again three back, because we're going to go a little bit, um, you know, like, stuff like that. So then we're going to do a one block, and then another pillar, then one, two, three, one, two, three, and then another one block, then one, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to go one, two, three, back again, so it's going to be one, two, three, a pillar, one, two, three, a pillar, uh, one, two, three, and then a brim, and a brim, so and then it should look like this in the end. Okay, guys, so now we're going to do the roof skeletons because, you know, as you guys know, this is the proper base. So what you want to do, do is on the three ones right here so that you get a double one, we want to go one, then two, 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 just like a Nordic roof, like the little standard triangle shape right there. And we're not only going to rock it right here, we're also going to rock it right there, there, and there. So um, basically this triangle, you want to paste it right onto this side onto this side and onto this side so I'm gonna do that real quick okay guys so that's done so it should kind of look like this so that the triangle shape is up there everywhere so um we then want to do is we're just gonna create a cross right here so we're just gonna connect all those triangles up and then have a one out sinking block so um, as you can see it's gonna go like this just to you know like sh shape the roof a little bit where it's gonna be so that's a little bit easier for you guys so it should look like that firstly we're gonna go to the base and I'm going to try to skip as much in this video as I can, just for the sake of it being short and easy for you guys. So, what we're now going to do is for um, uh, the the base, is what we're going to do is we're going to do a this. Just in all the gaps, just place a little line of blocks like this, just in every three gap. I'm just going to do that real quick. Okay, with that being done, you want to take up your stone brick stairs and place them right here at the downside of the pillars. At the downside of the pillars. And then on top, like this. So, that's just going to be on top two, pillars, on top two, pillar, on top, pillar, on top, pillar, on top, on top, on top. Right here, you just do the same thing if your terrain is like that. Then on top, pillar, on top, pillar, C, and... If you have this, what you want to do is you just want to continue it all the way along with a block right there. So, then again, then again, it's really easy. Easy, quick, and simple. That's where this house is all about. So, um, with that being done, we're going to take up our uh, cobblestone. And what we're going to do is we're just going to create triangles with a hole in the in the middle, like this. So, then we're just going to create those, um, yeah, just those triangles behind it everywhere, just like this and just basically do that all the way along. I'll just skip that real quick and then I'll show you guys what the end result is. Okay guys, so that's done. And as you can see, I just added it all the way along 
quick and easy. What you then want to do is you're going to take up your glass panes and just fill in those gaps. Do not worry about the door yet because we're going to do the door at the end. Um, that's just the standard procedure as I have it. So um, if you want to do the door right now, just do it. Anyways, now we're going to move on to a little bit more of the skeleton work. So uh, if you have your thing with the one the one outsticking one and the three outsticking one, you want to do on those side. Well, basically, for in order to make it easy, we're just going to do this on all the sides. Just basically continue this pillar all the way up until you have a two gap right here where there's going to be glass paints. So just do that all the way along and up. What you then want to do is you want to take up your glass planes and then again just fill in those two whole uh, gaps right there. Pretty easy. And then what you want to do is you want to take up your stone bricks and uh, you want to create a line with stone bricks and stone brick stairs like this. So what you want to do is you want to cre only create a line and do not make a whole roof of it. So uh, if you are skipping this video and then just building it, do not do that. Firstly, what we're going to do is we're basically just going to create those outside lines. It's not going to be the whole roof of stone. There's going to be spruce with inside. So if you want to skip the video right here and do that, then go ahead. But basically, this is what we're going to do everywhere. And then what we do is we create this in the inside. So what we're just going to do is we're just going to make little um, corners right here with the spruce wooden uh, blocks right here. So this would be your end result and what I like to do is if you do not like that just use your corner stairs but I like to to use the blocks in the corners just for the sake of it looking more uh, reinforced so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna um, uh, just take the stairs and just basically just place them all the way along right there just do it like this you guys will probably be pretty familiar with this so uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do the stairs right there and then um, what we're going to do is we're just going to pause the video right here because i just been called. Okay guys, so we're back. I just got called for no reason because I ta said to them that I were recording. Anyways, hope you guys don't really bother. Uh, so this is what you want to do on all the sides. Uh, I'm just going to do it on all the sides. Then again, skip for the sake of it being quicker. And then I'll show you guys what it should look like if you do not know what to do. Okay guys, so that's done, and it should look like this. So what I just did is I just, as I shown you, just do that, that all the way along. So this is what it should look like. Okay, what we're now going to do is we're going to do the dragon heads. Uh, so you want to go to the one of the tips, doesn't really matter. Then do one stair, then do another stair like this. Then do another stair like this. Then place a stair on top like this. Place two stone bricks right there. Then two stairs like here then a block then take up your um, stone brick slab right here just replace it with your wood then do one two and connect this all the way along till above that slab of about that stair and then you want to do a slab right here so what we're going to do is that once again then I'll skip the other two so it's going to be one one oh one then a one like this then two stone bricks, two stairs facing this way, then another block, two slabs, and then slabs up until the point where this stair is. So we're going to do that on all the sides real quick. Okay, guys, so that's done on all the sides, so it should look like this. What you then want to do is we're going to take the middle point and we're going to place a block. Then we're going to do one, two, three, four stairs like this one. One, two, just connect it up until the slabs on all the sides. And right here, once you've connected it to the slabs, delete one slab and place another stair. So it should look like this. There's a little bit of pattern right there. And then above this block, place the slab. Okay, so what we're now going to do is we're going to move on to this side. What you want to do is you want to take up your um, spruce wood. And you want to basically just cover this whole gap in. But then uh, one inwards, so it should look like like this. What you then want to do is you want to take up your stone brick stairs and do this, this, and this. So this, this, and this. So it should look like this. What you then want to do is you want to place another stair like this. So it's kind of looking like an eagle kind of stuff. Then what you want to do is you want to replace two like that. Uh, 
one like that and one like that. So you can see, so it's one like this and one like this. And then underneath here, you want to place two stairs. Uh, you can basically do this on all the sides. Uh, I'm going to do that for this tutorial for it to be easy. But you could come up with any type of pattern and you could just basically paste that on all the different windows. So uh, I'm just going to use this one on all the windows for you guys to make it uh, easy and clear and quick. Okay guys, so I got that done. So I got the pattern going on on all the sides. What you then want to do is you want to make those middle crossbars. You want to make them sticking out. And then you want to take up your buttons and place the button right here. So do that on all the sides. I won't skip this because this is a very easy process. Just basically just delete that one. Just use those blocks to make a let that sticking out. Pretty easy, pretty quick, and just adds a really nice feature. So what we're now going to do is what you could do also. I'm going to show you this real quick. I'm not going to do this on this on this house, but you could do this in other houses. What you can do is you can do this, and then a sideways facing, sideways facing. And then uh, three walls on top. And then you basically kind of have a barricade. And you could put leaves behind it instead of a pattern. Uh, that's a little tip for me right here. We're just going to keep it simple here. What you now want to do is you want to pick up a side for your door. What we're going to do is we're just going to place the door right here. Go to your redstone tab. Take your wooden door out. Uh, then you should place it like this. But then you want to take up your slabs and kind of make this. So basically you just got a door here. And uh, pr that's pretty much my uh, basic uh, little bit of stone spruce material house. Uh, if you want uh, the bigger version of this house, so the more detailed bigger version of this house, please put that, put that in the comments below. I hope this was worth it to wait a week for. Uh, I finished my test week and it all went pretty good. So I would like to thank you guys for waiting for that. And uh, other than that, I will catch you guys in the next one. And uh, yeah, have a very, very nice week.